Okay, joining manager Luke Garrett after a 2-0 defeat here away to Solihull Moors. Um, Luke, where did, where did it go wrong this evening? Um, first half, I think it was a little bit bitty. They caught us on the counter. Um, again, lack of bite to stop them scoring goals. We spoke about Maycock and his late runs. He makes a great run. Um, and then they get a ricochet because we're not getting blocks on. Um, spoke to the group in there. Didn't want to compound compound it anymore because obviously there is disappointment, there is frustration, there is upset, the group are genuinely hurting, um, as am I, but we've got eight games now, I've seen the results and I'm, I can't keep allowing myself getting sucked in about what other business is going on away from our club. We need to find wins and we need to get the points tallied at we feel we need to ensure that we got safety and National League status for next year. So, frustrating, look tired, look leggy. Um, can't say that that's an excuse, but that's why observation. Um, and we've got another side in Ultronham on Saturday that are like them, got a forward line that are very aggressive, run at people, pin you down, happy to take you up in one on one. So. Yeah, big big week because Altrincham becomes the focus. It's so it's so tough, and I'm not coming away from a two 0 loss against Solihull. Um, they've had a great season, real good season, but we don't help ourselves. Mm. You went into the break uh, level nil nil. Uh, do you feel like your side grew into that second half? I mean, created a few more chances, and was it just disappointing to to concede quite late on? They bring on Beck, so obviously we change personnel in terms of subs. We talk about uh, set pieces. We talk about. Um, they change of shape and Maycott does what Maycott does. Runs off the back of our player and the quality that's laid off to him is the difference. We have our two strikers later on that it's a great opportunity to slide Tyrone Marsh for a nice finish on goal and we, we undercook it and pick it in and around his feet so he can't get a clean finish. And that comes with confidence, mate. Like last year, we got the rubber to green, everything went for us and we were flying high in the division. Um, I said to the group then about finding a spark. This is the same group that personnel played in the fifth round. Personnel played at Wembley and Andrew Palanta. Personnel that went on a run last year in the FA Cup, and played against Accrington Stanley and played against Notts County. The manager himself doing all them. So we've got to have confidence. And I said, it's an eight game season. As much as I keep sort of brushing these results under the cut, it's not. Genuinely not. I'm not papering over the cracks. It's not what I'm doing. But I can't be foolish and dwell on that this evening. I've looked at the results and they've gone in our favour. But I've got to understand that we have to do and look after our own business. And there's a group in there that are hurting, that are low on confidence, as am I. Um, and we need to find a spark. We need to find it soon. Yeah. Well, if you think back to a few weeks ago, you had the, obviously the positive result at Fylde and, and form looked to, to be picking up. What's been the main difference from, from that to, to now? Very kind. Um, uh, per opposition, I have to say, we have played two sides, Halifax in and around it, being the playoffs and Solihull. They're a side that are currently fourth or fifth, currently the last four in the, in the FA Trophy. Great personnel, superb personnel. Their front four, brilliant. They bring on Beck, they bring on Warburton. They've got Gus Mifat still on the bench. So he's done a really good job. Um, clinicality and they're, they're a team that off the back of beating Willstone on penalties they got their peckers up and they come today we frustrated them a little bit got in around them ruffled their feathers and you can hear the crowd and the personnel on their bench and a lapse in concentration gives them the lead and then they're a side that are ball based and they can frustrate you and then another lapse in concentration they get the second I think that we had a little bit of a, a play down the left-hand side instead of playing inside and we can break out open side. Um, we choose to go long. Um, look, there's a lot more frustrations. Like I said, I ain't going to compound it with the group, so I'm not going to compound it on the camera. We've got eight games. It's a mini season for us. We're in a, probably a eight to nine, ten league being teams. Um, and we need to make sure we're one, two, three, four or five in that nine team league.